Hello, unicorns and witches. Welcome to our part three of The Wizard's Tarot by Barbara Moore. And today we will be creating a celebration ritual that Lisa has crafted for you. So before we start, um, my name is Pamela. This is Lisa. If you don't know us right now, we love taking you on a journey, um, a different journey than what you know we normally do with tarot on our YouTube channel. So if you want to continue taking these journeys with us, please subscribe, like, 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 and um, turn on that notification button because every month you get four, at least four videos, sometimes five. All right, Lisa, so tell us what we are doing today. All right, so today I thought instead of doing a spell this month, we're going to do a ritual because we are working with magic and ritual is a very important part of the magical process. And one ritual that I love to do at least once a month is a celebration ritual. And that's because celebrating what we've accomplished, but also what has ended, cycles that have ended, is really important for our energy so that we can continue momentum, we can consistently up level, and we can stay in that vortex of success. So I thought it would be really fantastic to harness the magical energy of celebration today. So Lisa, the card you told me to pull out, which is the five of cups for this ritual, is no. very surprising. Three of Cups. Oh, that's why. I was like, that's so surprising. Why are Three we using cups. the Five of Cups? Ah, you try. Okay. Okay. So we're letting go of the Five of Cups. <laughs> Pam gotcha. obviously wants to celebrate the Five was, of Cups. I was very confused how it was going to be for celebration. No, no wonder is, I couldn't find it. I went to that twice. It's the Three I found of it. Cups. I found it. I found the Three of Cups. So we are using the three of cups, which totally makes sense, everyone. Okay. <laughs> now that Pem's confusion has cleared, <laughs> let's celebrate that. Yay. So for those of you who don't know, the three of cups actually is the card of celebration. It's also the card of socialization. And this is probably something that many of us are want to celebrate, to be honest. We've had a bizarre, weird year, 2020, unless you've been living under a rock you probably have had your socialization and privileges taken away at some point this year. We all have. So this is why celebrating those moments and learning to see them as sacred is vital and important, not just for our bigger collective, but for our personal energy as well. So once you have your three of cups, I'm going to show you how to create a little mini altar so that you can do this ritual. Now, we have these little individual Ooh. card stands that our beautiful friend Jamie Sawyer creates. And all students who enroll in High Magic get one of these. So I'm using this today. Not so that one, though. We, they get a special one. That one they get a special the one. The Crypto Unicorn Tarot. It's on my Etsy. <laughs> yeah, this one you can get off Pam. But we, we do give these to our students as well. And the reason I wanted to use this today is because I wanted to show you how to create a mini altar so you can do ritual anywhere at any time and not worry about the space. Because it is one of the things we hear a lot, don't we, that people don't have space to do not this space. work. Mm -hmm. not so space. We're busting that myth today. If you can have space for this, which is about the size of a coaster, you can do ritual. So you're going to place your Three of Cups card right here like this on your little thing here on your little card holder and then you're going to take a crystal quartz so I have a uh, pointed one here because I want to amplify the energy but Pam can tell you more about why a pointed crystal is important so it actually takes your intention and it shoots it out to the universe so it's very nice and also for healing, if you want to release something, you can put it there and it shoots out. So just thinking crystal quartz point is pointing out, shooting out. Okay. Sending. So we, we can put that right on the front here. So see how we have our card. We have our crystal. It's going on our little card plate here, prepping us for our ritual. Then you can take this and you can put it anywhere. So I'm just going to put mine down on my desk so that we can keep talking. You can literally put this anyway. You can put it beside your bed. You can put it on your coffee table. Like it's really not going to take up much space. The next thing you're going to need is some anointing oil if you can find it. So for the celebration one, 
And if you don't have this, you could probably use essential oil. Is there an essential oil that's good for um, celebration or enhancing joy? Yeah, wild orange or any citrus. Okay, cool. So if you don't have an anointing oil, I have one called a uh, crown of success by art of the root, which I really love for this kind of stuff because we're amplifying success energy. We're amplifying the, you know, that we've completed something that is a form of success. We're up leveling the magical energy of our success bubble. So I'm going to use this one, but you can use the wild orange. As Pam said, you can use a citrus one. It does. It has the similar vibrational energy. That's what we're after. You're going to take your oil, whatever it is, and you're going to use it to anoint you. So once you have your card and your crystal set up somewhere where you can keep it there for at least 24 hours, that's normally what we say for our rituals, isn't it? Yeah. So you can keep it somewhere safe for 24 hours. So in order to, to charge this and get it going, you want to anoint you. So one of the things I do, and you can do any anointing process you want, you can actually take your oil and put it into some water and you can use that to anoint you. I use this straight. Anointing oils have been very specially blended over an extended period of time. So they have a specific magical vibration on them. So this one has a little stopper on it that I use. So I give it a good shake and I just going to touch my heart chakra area with the oil my throat, and then third eye. And then as I rub that in, like I just rub that really gently, I just do a little blessing. So I bless my heart center and open it to receive and be an active participant in this celebration. Then on the throat, I am speaking words of joy, happiness, and success as we come forth to honor all that has been completed and all that is still on its way in the vortex of success. And then up here on the third eye, I am holding the vision of success. I am holding the vision of joy. I am holding the vision of celebration. And now we are anointed. We are a secret vessel now. Yay. The next thing you're going to need for this ritual is a cupcake and a birthday candle. Mm. And I stole this from one of the spells that Pam did in our um, Unicorn Farts Tarot Academy because I love this. I think it's a perfect. I think it's perfect. So get your cupcake and your candle and you're going to put it next to your little altar that you have here with your card and your crystal and your anointed because you're going to eat the cupcake because Pam, Pam eats her magic. I eat my magic. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of love that idea of eating your success magic, like truly ingesting it, making it part of your nourishment. So we're going to magically nourish your system. Do you want them to have a specific colored candle? Mm, I don't think so. Do you think okay. they should have a specific colored candle? I think any color. White or yellow, fun. white, yellow, or depending on what they're celebrating, maybe if that's just like their entire life, they're celebrating like an accomplishment in their work or place, they could do maybe green or gold. If they're celebrating love, it could be pink. If you're celebrating, um, well, anything would be the white, right? Right. Yeah. I was just thinking a white or a sparkly mm -hmm. silver candle, whatever, whichever birthday yeah. candle you want. But as Pam said, if you want something very specific, then go and get hers. So you want to put your cupcake next to your altar with the candle, you're going to light your candle because you're anointed now. You're anointed. You're going to light your candle with your cupcake. You're going to repeat this very, very simple mantra. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Happy success to me. Happy success to me. I joyfully enjoy this success. I am overflowing my three cups worth of joy, happy success to me. Woo! Yay! Then blow out your candle and eat your cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> Woo and that is it. That is our success and celebration uh, ritual. Cool. It's really simple. It's really simple. It's really easy to set up and 
this deck will help you get into the mood with that, especially this card. It'll help you remember why it's important to share in these sorts of things and make them sacred spaces because we know in our work, especially with spiritual entrepreneurs, that they don't really craft out or carve out time for this kind of sacred celebration. Mm -hmm. So we want you to get into the hang of that. Yeah. And so in 24 hours or so, you can take the card down, put it back in your deck. Um, you can keep the crystal with you if you want. You can put in your bra. Maybe not this one, but you can keep it with you or you can just leave it where you had it. Leave it by your bed, wherever you want. So this crystal can is like infused with that power of your ritual too. So use it, use it for that energy, right? Yeah. And, and I would suggest that if you're going to do that, if you're going to carry your crystal around, I'd actually anoint the crystal. Mm. So I'd put some of that anointing oil on the crystal so that you can magnify and amplify the power that you that you have done through the anointing process and then through the mantra as you've lit your little birthday candle and done your celebration. Um, I think that would be helpful just to infuse that crystal. And then once you're done, you can just wipe it off. Mm. Did you just want them to do the bottom and the top? I think whatever they feel, but just remember when you're going to anoint, you always pull up first, mm. up first, then down. All right. And so, yay. Thank you, Lisa, for your ritual. We would love to see your rituals on Instagram or in the Enchant Facebook group. And if you want to tag us, let us know you did your ritual in your cupcake. <laughs> that would be amazing. Or in your new videos and reels or something. Whatever you want to do, we are so excited to see. And if you had um, success just come to you right after this, um, ritual, let us know in the comments below. Let us know if you like this ritual or if you have any questions. We are here for you. We usually reply to every comment and make sure that you are liking our videos and um, subscribing to our um, channel. Uh, any last words for them? Give us a thumbs up, share on your social media platform, especially if you found this video helpful. So if you found this video helpful and you think that other people can benefit from it, give us a thumbs up and then go ahead and hit the share button below and put it on your social media and tag us. Um, but if you find anything that we've done here helpful, help spread the word. Yeah, and we will see you in the next video for what are we doing? We're taking a journey to claim your magical wand. Ooh, yeah. Um, Pam has crafted a very special journey. We're flipped around this month. <laughs> yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. All right. So Unicorn Witches and Wizards, we will see you in the next video. Bye.